On this episode of Death by Bungie, I'm sitting in front of the computer here. I am going to look at an older video, a previous video here on Death by Bungie. And in fact, I'm on the computer screen for that reason, so I can look at it. The video that I posted is entitled Halloween Doe Hunt from a Ground Blind Crossbow Misfires. It's one of my better, more watched hunting videos here on Death by Bungie. Fantastic. People like that stuff. It was published on November 12, 2015, so it's a few years old. We're going on three years now with this video. It's an older video. But what I am realizing now over time is I get question after question from people on Facebook and here on YouTube saying, hey, how come the crossbow misfired? I don't know what happened. If you mentioned it in the video, I've watched the video a couple times, still don't see why the crossbow misfired. I don't see the explanation. And I'm sorry about that. Now, well, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to put that information in the notes to the video so that in future, for future people watching this, they probably won't be confused about that. I'll put this all in there so that it's in there. I want to point out that I did put a comment in here, and I pinned the comment to the top. It is actually, this I did a while back when people started asking this question, to find out what caused our problems, and by our, I mean me and Bungie, Bungie. our problems, I said, check out this other video of mine, and I gave them two different links. And those two different videos will express and explain what the source of it was, what the problem was. Now, I am going to add to that this video, because this video is going to settle it once and for all and explain once and for all at least my thinking as to what went wrong. Now, if you've gotten this far in the video and you're like, what in the world are you talking about? I don't even understand what you're talking about. You'll have to go watch that video first, the previous video, the video about the crossbow misfiring. In that video, if we watch it, this is the Halloween doe hunt. So this hunt actually took place on Halloween. It was October 31st of 2015 is when the hunt took place. And I'm down at the well pad food plot. And you can see a nice little view of the clover food plot. There's lots of weeds in there, lots of grasses in there, but that's not a problem. Deer don't mind that. They're out there having a good old time. And at some point, I finally get a little bit of activity. Happy to shoot a doe. You know me and them. Don't discriminate. Not real picky about that stuff. I had some deer that were a little bit alert. And one thing I have noticed over the last couple of years is that the deer that I've hunted in Pennsylvania are a lot more on edge than the deer that I hunt when I go to Maryland. It's just one of those things. It's just how it is. Pretty interesting. And I'll do more videos about that down the road. In this particular hunt, the deer was a little bit on edge. She's in the food plot. She's at 20 yards. I believe it was a 20-yard shot. She's approximately 20 yards. But you'll have to watch that video for the exact details. I don't know for sure. But she is looking at the blind and looking away, looking at the blind, looking away. And I'm set up. I'm ready to take the shot. I've got the crossbow on my knee. I'm ready to go. And I take the shot. Now, she might duck just a little bit, but nonetheless, the shot goes a little bit high. And I spine that deer. I hit, the arrow hits her right in the spine. Not the end of the world. She falls and collapses right there in the food plot. She's done. She's not going anywhere. But it becomes pretty clear to me from the circumstances that she's not going to expire either. She's not going to die from that shot, at least not immediately. She's no, there's no, long, no way that she's going to survive it. She wasn't going to live through it, but she was not going to immediately or anytime soon expire from that. So I was going to have to do something about it. Now, she's given me other opportunities, so I reloaded the crossbow, and I did it without the cocking rope. I cocked it by hand. But I shot two additional times, you'll see from that video, and both of those, the arrow goes immediately off the end of the crossbow, immediately into the ground, and there's no way that I'm going to kill that deer. I'm out of arrows. I only have three with me. Took my first shot. The two follow-up shots were used, and so I'm, I get out of, the cro out of the blind. I carry the crossbow out there. I'm like, what do I do now? Um, I could carry the crossbow out and try and take another shot and retrieve one of the arrows and try and do it right there on the scene. But I figured if I could get another bit arrow in her, she would expire. I ended up, because that crossbow was not cooperating, I ended up killing that deer with my bare hands with a knife, with a hunting knife. And I shared that video because I think that's something important that people can take away from that. You might be in a predicament like that. You have to make sure it's legal to do it. Sort of prepare ahead of time by reviewing and talking to people ahead of time, reviewing the law, that sort of thing. But you want to make sure it's legal. And, it, and in this particular case, it was, and I addressed that in the video. Now, I want to go one step further, however, in that the big thing is, well, what caused this? How can I prevent this from happening in the future? And I did mention this in a follow-up video. The follow-up video, one of them, how to use rail lube on your crossbow. The, in that video, I mentioned the problem that I had. I mentioned 
that that was the cause of that problem, at least as far as I can see. When I got done with that hunt, the Halloween hunt, November or, or October 31st, 2015, when I finally get that deer done, processed, gutted everything else, I checked over the crossbow and made sure that I didn't have problems with my string. I did not have problems with my limbs. They were not loose. There was no problems with that. None of the bolts were loose. None of the parts of the crossbow were malfunctioning. It was firing just fine. The problem, as I determined it to be, was that before I went hunting that day, I knew that the weather was going to be a little bit funky. I had waxed the string and prepared for that, like I've mentioned in other videos. But I had way over lubed the rail, the shooting rail. And I think what happened, and I could be wrong, but by wiping down the rail and just cleaning off the excess, it fixed the problem. So this tells me that I was correct, that this was the actual problem. I think what happened was when I cocked it the first time, no problem. But shot the crossbow, no problem. It was pretty accurate, fired just right, and didn't sound bad or whatever. The second two shots, however, rail lube had accumulated on the serving. They made that serving slippery. And by shooting it, that excess rail lube was lubing up the knock of the arrow and as the string and the serving were going down the rail the arrow was lubricated so the knock was riding up a little bit on the string on the serving and it was just dumping that arrow off the end of the rail i am 99.9 percent .9 positive that that is what happened and it happened with both shots because the string and the serving remained overly lubricated you don't want that rail lube on your string. You want that on the rail. It's rail lube, not string lube, right? And that's one of the reasons why I like the separate products. I like having wax for my string and lube for my rail. They're two different products for, for a reason. Now, that, I think, is what happened there. And by letting the string dry out, by drying off the string, by wiping down the rail, wiping off the excess, and just keeping that rail lube at a nice sheen level, you don't want excess on there. By doing that, I have never had that problem again, ever. And I've shot plenty of years since then, I don't but, but plenty of gear since then. So it certainly was not a problem after that. Hopefully, that gives you the information that you were looking for. Best of luck to all of you out there as your crossbow seasons continue. And until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie.